Hey guys, this is Ruth. Today I'm going to show you some of the things I do when I decant things, meaning when I drain the oils from them or drain them out of the alcohol or whatever when I'm making tinctures. Some of these things have been requested and some of them, I'm just going to show you some of the few of the little tricks that might help you out. So stay tuned. Basically the way to make the vanilla extract is fairly easy. Whatever brand of vodka or whatever is on sale, uh, I usually buy a bottle. What ounce is this? I don't know. Maybe it's a fifth, I think. I'm not for sure. I usually get whatever brand I need. Let me pour all the alcohol out. You can see that it's kind of getting dark because it's infusing. Uh, vanilla extract is basically a tincture. You can see that one of the pods is sticking out. Let's just show you here. This is basically a vanilla bean. I don't split mine. Sometimes they split after they have set in the alcohol for quite a while. We'll stick that back in the bottle. And uh, I, let me get the foam here. Pour the alcohol out. I pour the alcohol back in the bottle and we're going to let that sit. You can keep alcohol for up to a year. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you're ready to bake your cakes make your creams, make your pies, what have you. Pour it in the bottle, let it sit, make your cakes, make your pies, make your tinctures. Sometimes a few of the seeds, I don't know if you can see the seeds, will come out. Let me see if I can get some here on my finger. The seeds will come out of the pods. That is where most of the flavor burst is anyway. It even makes a real good perfume if you like vanilla scents, if you make your own perfumes. But we're also going to do one that has the lemon. Let me sit this to the side and I'll be right back. Now the lemon is very easy also to make if you want to make your lemon extract. Lemon plus vodka made on April 4th, 2011. Actually, I use the same jar. I put this tincture in uh, about three months ago. I just used the same jar from when I made it the first time. Let's get the jar open. Let me set this camera down. Oh man, that smells so good. Basically, what is in the jar, and I'm going to pour it out so you can see it, is uh, organic lemons and vodka. When we make lemonade around here, we save the skins for everything. Let's try not to make too much of a mess here. Luckily, it has alcohol, so good preservative properties there. And I should have had a bigger mesh screen and also a bigger jar, but I wanted to show it to you. Man, that smells absolutely excellent. I don't know if you can see the pretty lemon yellow color of it. Let me pick it up there. But it smells like it. Okay, we took it all out. So now we have our homemade lemon extract. That gave you quite a bit. I just used the same little, or I should say larger, glass jar that I had uh, decanted the vanilla beans in. As far as the lemons, although you have extracted the essence out of it from the skin, the oils and things like that, to give your vodka the flavor, 